if I could get the mic over to you. Hi. Hey, baby. Give us some ASMR. Oh my god, you're so cute. Hey, good boy. Oh, I'm tired. I'm tired too. All right, boxy charm stuff. <laughs> What's up, you guys? We're doing the BoxyCharm unboxing. There she is. Let's see what, uh, what's the theme this month? The theme is so fresh and so clean. I'm just so fresh, so fresh and so clean, clean. I don't know, there's a little, little box here. Go. Oh, sweet. What is this? It's called Plasma Glass. What the hell? It's from Love Craft Beauty. <gasps> Ooh. Plasma Gloss, because I can read. <laughs> Uh, this all over iridescent bronze gold gloss is a monkshi is a multifunctional buildable gloss that adds a dewy bronzy iridescent glow to eyes, cheeks, and lips. So you can put it in your eye. Ew. <laughs> oh, there's a safety seal. I love that. It's for your um, protection. It is says, it HP Lovecraft? It says love it. and craft. It says Lovecraft Beauty. That's what it says. I'm going to do a little swatch I don't like that this doesn't come with a brush, but whatever. Oh, that's pretty. That says Lovecraft Beauty. Very Look shiny. Look at how shiny it is. I've never tried anything from this brand, I don't think. I don't remember anything. So this is from uh, Earth Harbor Nat Naturals. Hmm. This is the Nebula... Adaptogen Clarity Ampule. Is it two Ampule? different colors? Or is that the glass? I think you have to shake it, maybe? I don't know. The answer to finding peaceful energy and the light within your skin, both a potent clarifying treatment and a gentle glow enhancing elixir, this Ampule. Am, am I saying Am that? Ampule? Whatever the hell it's called. It's a, it's a featherweight, flash-absorbing formula specifically designed to help distressed skin prone to acne, blemishes, and excess oil. I think it's just the glass that looks like this. It's really pretty, though, and I feel like I'm going to keep this bottle when I'm done with it. I'm excited that it also absorbs quickly, it sounds like. It looks like a very says, light Apply formula. two or more drops to your skin after cleansing and toning as needed. Massage in until absorbed. For your daily skin care cocktail, add two or more drops to any Earth Harbor serum or moisturizer morning and night. So it's not a serum? That's odd. No, it's an ampoule. It's an ampoule. Okay. All right, moving on. All right. This is the Persona Persona Cosmetics E Balm Tinted Lip Balm, a sheer lightweight tinted lip balm packed with nourishing ingredients designed for feel good comfort anytime anywhere. What does the color say on here? Let me see. It's Manifest E Balm. I think that's the tone though. Yeah, that's that's what I wanted to know. That's a cute little... Looks like a battery. Is it twist? It looks like Ugh. the vape battery that blew up in my leg. Oh. There she is. It looks like a lip lipstick. Yeah. You needed new li lipsticks. I did, yes. I threw 7,000 of them away. I did. Including ones that I bought for you. That were very expired. <laughs> At least five years old. Probably close to six years old, actually. What? Here you go. This is from Farah. F A R A H. I don't know if that stands for something, but this is the liquid eyeliner. A matte black, highly pigmented liquid eyeliner that will blow you away with 18 hour wear. Wowie wow. This liquid eyeliner has an easy to use felt tip to create a perfect cat eye. 
Stays on until you take it off. Easily removes with an oil-based eye makeup remover. It's vegan, cruelty-free, long-wearing, and waterproof. <coughs> so when your dickhead boyfriend makes you cry, it won't run down your face. No, see, that's good. I won't tell my boyfriend. Don't worry. You better not. Oh, is that a palette? I, I, I sense disappointment. Oh, no. Already. I don't have a knife back here, do I? I don't guess we're just... Fucking, I guess I'm just gonna fucking bear paw the freaking thing open. Do you need help? Nope. Are you sure? Like it's Christmas morning. I need makeup. I accidentally opened up your present. There you go. Let me take a peek. Wow. That's a pleasant surprise. What's it called? This is the Wander Beauty Sweet Escape Palette. Send yourself on a sweet escape with this perfectly curated collection of matte and shimmery neutral and bold shades. There are some neutrals, but there are a lot of non-neutrals in there. Purple, gold, purple-ish, purplish, maroon. Yeah, gold. It seems like it's not... Like, there's like Ew. that one... That one, that one, that one, that one, and like that one, maybe the golds, the shimmery golds that you don't have in every other goddamn palette you've ever That's gotten. really pretty. It's kind of like a iridescent shift to it, like a green and yellow shift to the purple. Mm -hmm. um, I made a mess. So these three and then the top one are all shimmery. I don't know how I feel about that, but um, I do really like... This, it, it looks like a bruise, but it's very pretty. I like that a whole Please lot. Don't put that on your face. I'm totally putting that on my face. Oh. Now we're going to go to so, the grocery store. Shimmery. And then these three in the top are glitter. And then this one's also shimmery. So that doesn't leave like a whole lot of mattes. That's like, like one, two, three, four mattes are left. I think it's four mattes, f uh, four mattes, four glitters, two shimmers. Yeah. So I mean, I, just the color, the, the fact that there's the fact that there's actual color in it, and it's not just all those neutral colors you get in every freaking palette. That's pretty exciting. Ugh. I really do like that color though. That that shift in it is gorgeous. I'm pop by this. I stuck my finger in one of those. Yep, I sure did. That's Wait. really pretty. Way to go. It's gold. There's a cat aggressively pooping in the background. If anyone hears the smacking of the litter box, it's Dobby. So yeah, uh, what was the most expensive thing? I'm guessing it was this ampule. So the forty-six dollar ampule. What were the prices of everything else? The palette was forty-two, the lip balm was twenty-two, the gloss was eighteen, and the eyeliner was twenty. How much was this? 22? The what? The tinted lip balm? Yeah. Yes, that was $22. Jeez, I'm gonna try it on. That is more than tinted. That's pretty pigmented. I'm not complaining. It's, it's, a, it's a color you would wear. It's <clears throat> really pretty. It's kind of like a, a berry kind of red. It's berry red. It's berry red. It's it's pretty sheer. It feels really nice on the lips. It kind of smells like crayons. Tell me that doesn't smell like crayons. Um. Yeah, I guess a little. It's very... probably it's it because lipsticks like that have probably the same similar ingredients to crayons. To be honest, that's pretty gross. You're just rubbing Hurtful. crayons on your fucking lips. I don't know how I feel about this color with this shirt. With no other makeup. With my shirt. Yeah. Here we are again, filming another makeup review while she's wearing one of my shirts. You can't even tell. Like, you don't own your own clothes. <laughs> I slept in this. I slept in this. Uh, All right. I'm going to play with the stuff. And I'm going to go grocery shopping. Okay. Bye. See you. 
All right, so I did just prime my eyes with this Urban Decay Primer. Is it Primer Potion? It's Primer Potion. I just primed with that. I don't even know if this is in, oh no, it's not in the way, cool. So, my plan is to go in with this matte shade, I think, and then do this on the lid. I need to figure out, like maybe I can blend it up just a little bit higher on my crease, just because I have like really hooded eyes and I would like, you know, the, the shimmer is still to show if I'm gonna wear shimmer, why not? So I'm going to start with that matte light purple color. I have used Wander Beauty in the past, and I am a fan. I do really like their formulation. That's freaking gorgeous. I love this color. The cat making biscuits next to me is a paid actor. Um, he's taking orders. If you need any biscuits, please place an order with his bakery. He is obviously a very, very tired little boy from all the biscuit orders, but that's not going to stop him, right? You're a good boy. I freaking love these cats. They're so cute. I love this formula. Not as much as I love my cats. Mm, sorry. Uh, it's really pretty. It's laying down very nicely. I feel like there's not like a lot of kickback. There's not a lot of fallout, which is great. I'm tapping it off a little bit before I put it on. Sometimes I feel like what I have in vision. Hello. There's another cat in here. Player three has entered the game. Why don't you come up here? I thought you were a ghost. You're kind of a ghost. If you look into this cat's eyes, you will see... The ghosts of 10,000 Victorian children. If you gave them a Sprite from McDonald's, you would surely put them in a coma. Because that would just be too much. But that's okay. Oh, anyways. ADD brain. I always have these uh, visions of what I want my eyeshadow to look like. But it's never on um, the actual eye I have. It's on someone's eye that has way more lid space and lid, like actual eyelid that you can see. Hello. Okay. So then I always run into the problem where <clears throat> when I'm trying to blend, I just blend into my eyebrow because like there's not a lot of real estate here, which is fine. It'd be a lot cooler if it was like, you know, but we're working with what we have. It blends out very nicely. I don't have like a nude shadow on the rest of my lid, which I'm probably going to put just because, <clears throat> hello, she's being a creep. Does anyone see her? Hello. Hello, little friend. <laughs> I feel like my, um, my eyelids get really oily and if I don't put like a little bit of a buffer there, then it's going to be out of control, but even on just like primed eyelid, this is blending out very, very nicely. I'm just going to pause here and grab like a nude shadow or nude for me shadow. Okay. So this is a cargo palette from many boxes ago, uh, going into the shade that I use apparently way too much in just chaos going on over here and shade. Um, it doesn't really matter because you could use any shade. So I'm just gonna swipe my brush in there, tap her off a little bit, and then just kind of like pack the color to my upper eyelid, right pretty much on my brow bone. What is happening over there? You know you're doing something wrong because you're acting real cute and it's working. I love cats. I'm just gonna darken that up just a touch. Yeah, I really like that. Uh, the light in here is not like the light I would actually use if I were doing my makeup because I need a really bright light, honestly, just to see clearly. 
if you're new here, I do have uh, some visual impairment. So anything I can do to make my life easier, I'm going to do. Unless it's while I'm trying to film this video. Just, you know, fighting through it. All the obstacles. So, that's pretty. I like that. I'm going to use my finger to put that glitter shade on because if I use a brush, it's just going to be like nothing. I'm going to swirl my finger in there. I guess this is like a, I don't know, it feels more like a shimmer. It's freaking gorgeous. I love it. Maybe it's a little more sheer than I had thought. Pop that on the lid here. No, that's beautiful. I'm not normally a fan of glitter, but this is like my mermaid fantasy and I love it. This formula feels so nice. It's like buttery. Like, you know how you get shimmers or glitters that feel kind of dry? This is not that. And I feel like it's going to last a very decent amount of time. I'm just taking that up a little bit above where my crease is so we can all enjoy it. Yeah, pretty. Like that a lot. I'm not going to go crazy, I don't think, with the eyeshadow today. I still have to test out that eyeliner. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with this. Because I don't think this is not going to look nice on my lips at all. It's just not, I'm too cool toned for this. This is not going to stay on my eyes. And I can't use this as like a highlighter because it's a, a bit too dark for me. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but I, I guess I have to figure it out. I don't know. I think even if I would try to put it under foundation, it's still going to be like too dark. But I don't know. We'll figure something out. We'll figure something out. I'm going to finish up my eyeshadow. I'll be back for the eyeliner. All right. I'm aware how like insanely blown out this looks, but I was doing the eyeliner on one eye, seeing how I liked it. Um, this brush is great. It's a, like a very firm felt tip. So I'm just going to do the other eye here, which is really hard to do while you're talking. I just did like a little flick at the end on the other side so I'm going to try to mimic that here which is always a struggle we're cleaning our beans over there That is loud, sir. But yeah, there we go. Evenish. Love that for us. Uh, the eyeshadow did fall out a whole lot under my eyes with the sparkles, which I'm not really surprised about. I'm going to try to clean that up. I'm just going to do... Uh, I guess I could do most of my face makeup now and then I'll come back just to finish off the eyes. So I'll see you in just a touch. Just a touch. Just a little bit. We're doing bean maintenance. Does anyone else's cats do that when they just stare at them dead in the face and they're like hang, 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 hang to their toe beans? You're doing a great job, honey. All right, see you in a second. Okay, so I've pretty much finished my base makeup. My I tidied up my eyebrows a little bit. I did, you know, all the things I used. Where is it? I used this color. Is it that color? No, it is definitely this color up here on my lower lash line just to give it a little something. And um, I haven't used that ampule. Is that what it is? The ampule? I haven't used that yet. I'm going to use that tonight just because I already did my skincare and everything when we filmed the first part of the unboxing. So I wasn't about to wash my face again and dry everything out. So this guy here. Um, I'm going to try to use this 
as a little bit of an inner corner pop, I suppose, because I don't know where else to go with this and I'm not putting it on my lips. So I'm just going in here, a little brush and just like, it's really pretty and I don't want to not use it, you know? Um, I don't know how I feel about that. I might have to blend that out just a little bit more because it just kind of like the texture of it, it's a gloss, so it's just kind of sitting there. Is it pretty? Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I wonder if I could re-gift this to someone that would like actually appreciate it because I feel kind of bad just not just having it not doing anything with it. Uh, I'm going to maybe pat it out a little bit. It's an odd consistency to have on your tear duct, but this is where we are now. I think it looks better blended out. I hope it doesn't disrupt my eyeshadow too much. And then even though I did use it in the unboxing part, I'm going to put this on again. It's really pretty. I tried to find like a lip liner to go with it, but... I feel like with my look, this part would like fade and then I'd just be left with the lip liner. This would be nice if you're going for like a blotted lip kind of look. And when they kind of like blur it out and go a little bit deeper on the inside part. But yeah, pretty. I like it dig it. That's my look. I'm going to um, go get dressed and then apparently we're both going grocery shopping. I think it's sleeting outside so that's delightful but we'll see how all of this wears. Bring that down a little. Oh my god look at him. He's so tired. So yeah. I'll take pictures too. Like, it's always kind of hard to tell in this lighting just because it's so bright but it's not even really that bright right now but yeah I'll be back I'll see you guys in a little bit I'll have more groceries bye all right so here's a little check-in I think it's been probably like six hours uh what I will note about that tinted uh, <laughs> tinted lip balm is I feel like it doesn't last very long and then when you reapply it it kind of looks like a little patchy I did exfoliate my lips pretty well before I started to do my makeup just to give it you know the best chance it has and I like the color it's nice right now because I just reapplied it I'm on cat watch to see if he's gonna start playing the guitar or doing something inappropriate I feel like we're getting close so I'll do this quick um I don't know not my favorite formula. The color's pretty, but just not something I'm going to be reaching for a lot. Obviously, I'm going to use it up because I don't want to be wasteful. But uh, the eyeliner, I feel like the eyeliner, like I said, I really like the uh, applicator. I like the formula. It has lasted really, really well. I feel like it hasn't cracked or flaked or anything like that. So that's awesome. The gloss, that like all-in-one gloss, this one, it lasted nicely on my inner corner. I still really don't know what I'm going to do with it. I feel like it's kind of a waste in my arsenal here, but, you know. Um, the eyeshadow that I'm having a hard time grabbing, here we go, lasted really, really well. I really like the colors. I feel like they're still really vivid. I feel like they have worn really, really well. Very, very happy about this. Very happy I didn't just get another warm neutral palette because I'm over that shit. So that's great. I'm going to use this guy tonight when I do my night skincare. 
it takes a while to see if skin products really work out so I'm not really gonna have a review about that but I am very very excited to use it I've never used anything from that product line before so very exciting um, all in all I think it lasted really nicely and I'm really happy with the colors did you get any of the same things in your boxy charm please let me know down below have you used any of these products before what are your thoughts I'd love to know leave me a comment um, if you haven't already hit subscribe I'd love to have you uh, like the video if you did like the video or you could like the video if you like little cats washing their faces because who doesn't love that oh my god you're so cute you're such a good boy you can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at Reanimator. Um, yeah, I hope that everyone is staying warm. It's January. Look at that face. Oh my God, he's so cute. This is just like the mushiest cat I've ever met. I don't know if you can hear him purring. All he wants is to be pet. He's just the sweetest little creature. Oh, his name's Dobby. I love him. I love Rumor too. But she's not currently back here, but I don't know. I'm gonna go take a shower, get ready for bed, and I hope everyone is having a wonderful week, and I'll see y'all later. Bye!